Nickel is the 28th element on the periodic table. And like a lot of transition metals, it is used um, alloyed with steel to improve, and other metals, to improve the attributes of those metals. And specifically, one of these alloys um, of nickel and iron is used in the hottest parts of a, of a jet engine. Titanium, which is used primarily in a jet engine because of its lightness, can't handle the temperature in these extremely hot places. So, uh, weight is, so lightness is sacrificed for strength under extremely hot temperatures. And nickel alloys are typically very good for this. Nickel is very well known, and even more so than cobalt, because of its use in a very common U.S. coin. Um, it's known the, as the nickel. So, nickels actually um, aren't 100% nickel. They're 25% nickel, and the rest is copper, which is a much, much more common and popular element for coinage. Um, but I thought just for the heck of it, I'm going to show you some older versions of the nickel. Uh, I've got a buffalo nickel here. And this buffalo nickel costs about $2. And um, this buffalo nickel costs about $325. Um, and then I've got some older one, uh, older nickels. This is a V nickel. Um, you can see on the back it's got the Roman numeral for five, which is the V. And here I have the shield nickel. You can see shield. And it says five on the back. This one's even older than the V nickel. And before that, they did have five cent pieces, but silver um, wasn't worth that much back then, and they they could have these tiny little um, they called them half dimes uh, made out of silver. But then the price of silver rose, and um, so they started making coins out of nickel and copper. And coins out of nickel and copper. Um, so even though pure nickel looks quite a bit like this, this is not pure nickel. And I'm going to show you pure nickel. So here's pure nickel. Um, this is just an electrode that I got. Um, and here is the 25% nickel. They look pretty similar because this uh, has nickel on the outside. Um, and as you can see, nickel's kind of a boring transition metal. But, um, you know, it looks like a lot of it's silvery, kind of looks like a lot of the other metals. But when you mix it with other compounds, it typically turns green. Um, so this is nickel nitrate, and it's a nice uh, green color. Uh, so nickel gets quite quite interesting um, and colorful when you mix it with other um, elements. You probably remember uh, I talked about uh, half dimes before they made nickels. They uh, made five cent pieces out of silver, so I actually thought I'd uh, get some for my collection. So here is um, the oldest half dime I have. It is from 1834. There we go. Um, and then I've got like a page of of newer half dimes. So these are all of these same Walking Liberty ones, or excuse me, Seated Liberty ones. Anyway, 